the big stories of the day now after drawing flack for pressing for mercy for Sanjay Dutt in the 1993 Mumbai serial bluff case while ignoring the plight of the other accused justice Markande Karju has now raised up the cuddles on behalf of Zebun Nisa Kazi. The press council chairman who has spoken out against the five-year jail term awarded to Sanjay Dutt by the Supreme Court recently tweeted that the other accused in the case should also be pardoned if they deserve. I'm quoting him now and his tweet really. He said that he was seriously considering the case of Zebun Sarkazi who Prima Faisai deserved pardon although he was collecting more material about her before making up his mind. Meanwhile, Zebun Nisa's daughter spoke exclusively with headlines today and expressed gratitude for the concern and recognition that her fight for justice has finally received. You know, after 20 years, after 20 years, this morning has been a real good and happy morning for me. Like I said in my first interview, I was shattered by the Supreme Court judgment, but I said I have not lost faith in the judiciary. I have not lost faith in the land of this, the law of this land. I am really happy. I knew, I knew I would get some mercy. I am very happy. I am really, very happy. I hope now. There is hope. I am really, very happy. What I am hearing and seeing on channels, I am really, very happy. Mm -hmm. And thanks to all the media, all the channels for supporting my mother first. All right, this is what uh, Justice Markande Karju has uh, tweeted. Yes, if other co accused deserve pardon, they should also get it. And I'm seriously considering the case of Zebun Nisa Kazi. Remember, Justice Karju was under intense pressure after saying that he wants a pardon for Sanjay Dutt in the case. Now, he goes on to tweet that Prima Faisai, he thinks uh, that uh, she deserves pardon as well, though he's still collecting material about Zebun Nisa Kazi. Jugal Purohit, our correspondent, is now joining us with more details. Jugal, intense pressure on Justice Karju really to take up this other case as well, apart from Sanjay Dutt. Absolutely, Ma. In fact, the kind of uh, flag that he's been facing ever since uh, he decided to take up uh, Sanjay Dutt's case. I remember Sanjay Dutt was convicted uh, by not just the Supreme Court, but even the trial Tara Court uh, in 2006. And Justice Kadu facing flag because he uh, unilaterally took up Sanjay Dutt's case, uh, saying that pardon was necessary for him. But uh, of course, as headlines today had highlighted last week, immediately, Following the Supreme Court's verdict, there were convicts like Rebun Akazi, a 70-year-old woman who had uh, who had uh, in her residence dumped uh, weapons by uh, Abu Salim and uh, some of the other convicts. These were the same weapons which Sanjay that allegedly had refused to take. And without Zebunissa's knowledge, intention uh, or consent, these weapons were dumped only to be taken later away. And yet Zebunissa was convicted under Tara and at the age of 70 will have to face five years in prison. Uh, remember, there was no recovery of weapons from her residence either. She has neither confessed uh, to to uh, to actually accepting or nor has she pleaded guilty. The only reference right. to Zebunissa is because mm -hmm. accused mentioned that weapons were stored overnight at her place. Right. So that's the situation. And of course, now after the outcry following a mm -hmm. lunch report, Justice Kaju has taken up this case.